Welcome back to Apocalypse News. I'm your host, Jessica. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, I'm a political scientist going through some old textbooks and I truly have come across apocryphal things. Today we're going to be looking at the fourth turn. And while some may say us talking about all this crisis and such is depressing, truth is, if it is a roadmap and it's written and it's predicted, then we can at least have some kind of direction of how to weather through the storm. Am I right? So um, maybe it will bring some comfort to you as it does me to know that <clears throat> what we are going through right now is not only predicted and not only laid out, but it's also necessary to get to where we need to go next. Um, so, if uh, you haven't heard of this book, it's called The Fourth Turning. Oh, that's backward. Uh, and it is the Strauss Howe generational theory, which basically says that every so often, every couple years, the same uh, cycles will happen throughout human history where we go through periods of growth and periods of destruction and such. There is much more to be said on that but right now I'll just be reading some of this passage that talks about what we're going through right now and this again was written in 1997 but it is which I lived through that era I was a child and if you would have said some of these things to uh, the people of that time considering how different that world was they would have thought you were crazy so I'll just start here. History is seasonal and winter is coming. Like nature's winter, the secular winter can come early or late. If you haven't seen my first video, secular is referring to the circle of time and the circle of seasons that I just talked about. What we're approaching is considered winter, you know, the upcoming crisis that er, upcoming, the current <laughs> things happening. And as I just said, it can come early or late. And I'm gonna walk through this and illustrate how it came early. So, all right. A fourth turning can be long and difficult, brief but severe, or perhaps mild. But like winter, it cannot be averted. It must come in its turn. Here in summary is what the rhythms of modern history warn us about America's future. The next fourth turning is due to begin shortly after the new millennium, midway through the OO decade. Around the year 2005, a sudden spark will catalyze a crisis mood. As I was just saying, coming early or late, I would definitely categorize the terrorist attacks in 2001 as the sudden spark. And then keep in mind as well, what we were doing at by 2005, we had invaded Iraq in 2003. So by 2005, the Iraq war is spinning up back to this. Around the year 2005, a sudden spark will catalyze a crisis mood. Remnants of the old social order will disintegrate. Political and economic trust will implode. Real hardship will beset the land with severe distress that could involve questions of class, race, nation, and empire. This to me speaks of um, the dissenters of the Iraq war. There were people on both sides. There was uh, a lot more um, cohesion at first. Everyone was you know, oh, we have to retaliate for 9-11, but things started to break down. People started to question things with George Bush and, and the invasion. And then we also had uh, Occupy Wall Street and all the, the Tea Party movement and things like that. So those were really the seeds that started to take hold of what's happening right now is those couple larger events. Okay, back to this. Political and economic trust will implode. Real hardship will beset the land. Just said that. Sorry about that. With severe distress, which could involve questions of class, race, nation, and empire. Yet this time of trouble will bring seeds of social rebirth. 
Americans will share a regret about recent mistakes and a resolute new consensus about what to do, thus the pendulum swinging towards a more uh, politically correct society. The very survival of the nation will feel at stake. Sometime before the year 2025, America will pass through a great gate in history, commensurate with the American Revolution, Civil War, and twin emergencies of the Great Depression and World War II. Don't worry, it was fated to be right here right now. <laughs> it's going swell, you guys having a good day? All right, let's keep going. <laughs> The risk of catastrophe will be very high. The nation could erupt into insurrection or civil violence, crack up geographically, or succumb to authoritarian rule. If there is a war, it is likely to be one of maximum risk and effort. In other words, a total war. Every fourth turning has registered an upward ratchet in the technology of destruction and in mankind's willingness to use it. In the Civil War, the two capital cities would surely have incinerated each other had the means been in hand. In World War II, America invented a new technology of annihilation, which the nation swiftly put to use. The atom bomb, you know, bing, bing, boom. This time, America will enter a fourth turning with the means to inflict unimaginable horrors and perhaps will confront adversaries who possess the same. So, hey, let's not do that. We can change that, right? Okay. Because in the crucible of crisis, that will change. I skipped some of the parts. How about As the old civic order gives away, Americans will have to craft a new one. This will require a values consensus and to administer it, the empowerment of a strong new political regime. Sounds like we're due for a little bit of change. If all goes well, there could be a renaissance of civic trust and more. Today's third turning problems that Rubik's Cube of crime, race, money, family, culture, ethics will snap into a fourth turning solution. So the problems of yesterday will become the solutions of today. Yay. <laughs> America's post-crisis answers will be as organically interconnected as today's pre-crisis questions seem hopelessly tangled. By the 2020s, America could become a society that is good by today's standards and also one that works. There's much more on it. Some of the things that um, really should stick out when I'm talking about economic things, let me kind of put into perspective as well. Like I said, um, terrorist attacks 2001 really kicking things off. We invade Iraq 2003. Things are really escalating 2005 with that Kanye sophomore album about that time. Uh, we have 2008, it was a big housing bubble, Fannie, or what is it, Freddie, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the housing bubble of that, 2009, things are a little shaky, and um, seems like we've been through the rest, personally, so, alright, I'll probably do more of these, <laughs> be nice to each other, be nice.